Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Steel Division video brought to you by me, Chief. Today we're going to be playing a 3v3 on Omaha. Bit of a quick one today as uh, right in the beginning of the game our opponent, or not our opponent, but our teammate rather, uh, ends up lagging out and then I believe somebody on the other team surrenders right at the beginning of the match so not sure what that was all about but uh let's just say botchers and i thought we were gonna be in for it because we actually didn't realize that the opponent on the other team ended up surrendering so we thought the entire time we thought we were playing a, a two versus three so we thought we were gonna get crushed but uh it ended up being a pretty good match so uh you guys have something to look forward to today gonna be playing as the 12th ss panzer division along with botchers who's going who's also playing as the 12th ss the architect is going to be the 91st Luftlande, and we're playing against prescudo who is the third armored comrade winston who is also the third armored and japal 2198 who's going to be playing as the 15th Infantry. Got myself a couple of AT guns, Pack, uh, pack 38s I believe they were, to uh, start off the game. I'm going to be sending one right in this hedgerow here to get line of sight on this road for any oncoming enemy armor. And I'm going to be sending the second one over into these hedgerows here to kind of watch my far right flank I got the uh, recon squads heading up to this area here. I have the Panzer 2C to start off. I didn't want to go with the Firefly to start off the game because I do feel as though they are a rather large investment and I don't feel the enemy um, the enemy battle the 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 allied battle groups at the as of right now don't have any aren't really a big threat to me so I just take out the pack guns to sort of deal with any light armor light vehicles I don't feel the firefly which is 200 points is necessary right at the start of the game so I do bring out the panzer too I also bring out a um, what is this here uh, 251 17 this is the anti-aircraft gun variant I bring that out at the start because I figured that it would be good at suppressing enemy infantry um, and engaging and suppressing the half tracks as well <coughs> got a couple of panzer grenadier squads as well to kinda fill in the gaps along this tree line behind or between uh, botchers and I right at the start though Botchers is going to be getting his pack 38s to work. They're going to be engaging and destroying uh, enemy stewards. He's going to be engaging with Comrade Winston. And there you go, the architect on our team does lag out, unfortunately. So we were a bit worried at this time. And I realized that once I watched the replay, Comrade Winston actually surrenders, who is playing in the middle as well. So, we didn't realize that. But, uh... It didn't really matter in the, uh, in the long run. My 259 is going to be engaging an enemy half-track. Enemy AT gun is going to be opening up on my Panzer too, so I, uh... I quickly pull him out of there because I really don't want to lose him to start this game off. I do pull up the uh, 251 17 to engage this half track here, which it does a pretty good job with. I do notice that the uh, 57mm AT gun is going to be opening up on the 251 17, so I want to pull him back too. Pack 38 is going to be taking out a half track along with a enemy steward, command steward this pack gun on the left right side is going to be engaging a m5a1 steward he is also going to take out a um, an enemy half track 
I almost forgot. Let me switch this to my point of view just so you guys can see what I'm seeing. <coughs> now, I don't think the... Well, the enemy on the, the left side is aware that the, the player who was on the left side did leave. And I'm actually going to be given all of that guy's units. So I'm just trying to spread out and get them into sort of defensive positions until we could call in reinforcements to support this left side. Going to be bringing in Botchers and I are going to be bringing in a couple of Panzer Grenadier squads to push up in this area here between right and center, left and center. Right now, it's a little slow. Not too bad though. My Panzer Grenadiers and the Alf Claire that I bring in along with the 222 are going to be engaging a rifle squad along with a half track, but the enemy did bring in a M5A1 to kind of counter my push in this area. So, I try bringing in the Panzer Grenadiers to get into this tree line so that they can take it out. Right now, the Allies are currently running a plus one lead with 54% opposed to our 46%. I'm going to be bringing in a mortar half track to kind of deal with these AT guns. I figured if I really wanted to bring any serious armor up these roads or make any sort of a push on the right side, I would need to deal with those first. Gonna be bringing in a couple more Panzer Grenadier squads and the 251 half tracks. Right now on the left side, right side, rather, we are just sitting pretty. Not too much going on. Over here in the center, Botchers is gonna be bringing in a command infantry Fuhrer to provide that extra veterancy to his surrounding units. My Panzer Grenadier squad is going to open up on the M5A1 with their Panzerfausts and they are going to make quick work of that enemy tank. However, they aren't able to get close enough to take out this uh, M3. So I am bringing up another Panzer Grenadier squad to perhaps draw their fire so I can move this guy in to get close enough to take him out. Over here on the far left side, the enemy is going to be bringing a pretty heavy push. Lots of infantry and Vickers HMG squads bringing up a lot of mortar carriers. I do not believe we were aware of this. But this is, the, this is pretty much the story on the left side for the entire game. The enemy is just going to constantly push us. Reinforcements finer, finally arriving. Erzatz Truppen is going to be pushing up along with Botchers as Panzer Grenadiers. Enemy are bringing in a P-51 Mustang to take out my Mortar Half Track, but it's not going to do the trick. I am going to be able to take out both anti-tank guns with this Mortar, and I do start bringing up my Panzer II. I am able to take out that half track that was suppressing my Panzer Grenadiers on the right side over here. Gonna be losing quite a few of the initial troops uh, over here on this left side, but we do have reinforcements. Botchers is gonna be bringing in a Panzer II, and I'm gonna be bringing in my Firefly to kind of get line of sight on this road if the enemy did decide they want to push any serious armor up. So lots of supporting elements. We are aware of these six pounder anti-tank guns. So we do want to stay away from those. Enemy mortars are going to be opening up on the Fallschirmjäger. <coughs> Fallschirmjäger on the far right side are going to be cut out in the open. Unfortunately, but we weren't too worried about our losses. 
I'm gonna be pushing up the 259 on the right side. Get. Perhaps take out one of these half tracks, but I do believe that they are gonna go down to the armed rifles of the 3rd Armored Division with their bazookas. Yep, there you go. Fuel explosion. Panzer II is going to be pushed up pretty far. I do begin bringing up the Pack 38. Botchers and I begin to mount sort of a small offensive here on the right side. To basically, we're trying to even out the score here, which we did eventually do. Now. This initial push is going to become very handy a little later in the game. But as of right now, the enemy is pushing very hard on the far left side. Firefly is going to begin engaging these honey stewards that the uh, enemy decided to bring in. Going to be hitting them with that 17 AP. Botrus is going to be bringing up his Panzer II to kind of assist my Firefly. They're going to be falling back rather quickly. Erzatch Trippin is going to get cut down by the Dingo and multiple fire support elements. One Honey Stewart's going to go down. Nico's Panzer II is going to be falling back. Shortly after that, the uh, Honey Stewart does fall back as well. He is actually going to go down, I believe, at some point. A third Honey Stewart comes in to kind of assist the initial push there by the uh, 15th infantry but my firefly is going to make short work of it the enemy are now bringing in quite a few air elements to deal with our forces but they're not going to do a whole lot of damage I do bring in two, two 259s to kind of assist the uh, units that I have on this side. There's not a lot whole going on on this right side at the moment because I was focusing all of my attention to the center area as well as trying to make sure I replenish troops on this side, on this left side here, because I did know they were pushing really hard. I am going to be bringing in some Panzer Grenadiers and half tracks, kind of sit them in this little complex here Firefly and the Panzer II are gonna hold off that initial push by the 15th infantry so that buys us a little bit of time to get reinforcements up here Nico is gonna be pushing up his Firefly right up the middle of the map He mounted a pretty good offensive right in the middle to kind of punch right through their lines. I don't really think the enemy expected it, although I do believe it was their... The player who was in the middle was the one who ended up surrendering, so perhaps that is why we had such an easy time. Gonna be able to get my Panzer Grenadiers up into these buildings here to uh, cut down any advancing vehicles with their Panzerfausts. Not much going on on this right side. Going to be unloading the Panzer Grenadiers into this com complex. Enemy is going to be moving a lot of infantry over on this left side. Bringing up a 231 recon vehicle. Kind of spot out enemy AT positions. I didn't want to run my Firefly into anything too hairy because that would probably go down pretty quickly. I did not realize that the two AT guns that they did have were in these hedgerows here, so my 251s, I believe, are both going to get taken out. I'm not too worried about it, though. Botchers is going to be bringing up a Panzer IV to kind of assist the Firefly and the fighting on this end. They 
this Butte Firefly is going to be engaging this Sherman of some sort. That's going to go down rather quickly. Enemy does bring in air support to kind of hold that off. Not going to do a whole lot. A big gap in the enemy front lines. Now I do end up start pushing on this far right side with my 259s. I am going to bring in a Panther D because I am I do know that the enemy is going to be trying to bring in heavy armor to hold off our offensive. So I wanted to make sure I had something heavy on this side to kind of deal with anything. Because not a whole lot of action was going on on the right side of the map at this point. So I figured that perhaps they would try and catch us off guard when we weren't paying attention and make a really big push. So I did want to make sure I had this supporting element over here. There is going to be an M4A1 moving through the hedgerows on this far right side. Enemy Brand Group's going to go down to the 231. Probably not the best position for the 231 as it can't really see anything. But I did just want to make sure that nothing was sneaking up on this far left flank through these trees. So I did put him there to kind of cover that angle. Enemy's going to be bringing up a Churchill Mark V. One of the AT guns is going to be hitting Botcher's Panzer IV. I do believe that gets taken out, unfortunately. Crew's knocked out. Panther D is going to be opening up on that M4A1. He is going to lose line of sight, however. Slowly making a push on this far right side. Mustangs are going to come in, try to scare off the Panther D, but it doesn't really work out for them. I'm going to lose a Panzer Shrek squad over here in these hedgerows. There was a armed rifle squad. I wasn't aware that they were there, and they cut them down pretty quick. 259 is going to be engaged with the M4A1. I'm trying to get my Pack 38 to get an angle on that Sherman so I can take him out quickly. Now Botchers had signaled to me that this AT gun was pushing up. So I wanted to kind of catch him off guard while he was moving. And then that Churchill 4, rather, um, he kind of came out of nowhere. So I wanted to make sure sure I engaged him first. Botches is going to be moving up his Panzer II to kind of assist with the uh, enemy HMG squads that are in this tree line here. Firefly is going to be engaging the Churchill. And boom. He goes down. Now at this point I am trying to line up a shot on the enemy AT gun to kind of blow up next to it so it could suppress it a little. I do move up the Airzot stripping to attack them as well, but they're going to be spotted and cut down pretty quickly by all these HMGs. AT gun's going to be opening up on the Firefly. I should probably move him back at this point, and I do eventually get him out of there. There he goes. Botchers brings up another Panzer IV on this side. Handful of my units get taken out by, I believe, enemy air support on the uh, far right side. Going to be moving up the Panther D to kind of deal with that Sherman that was there. And, well, the enemy begins to leave. And there you have it, folks. So, it was a pretty enjoyable game. It was a pretty quick one. Nothing to complain about, definitely. We did, during the match, we did think it was 2v3. But uh, after watching the replay realized that it really wasn't it was still a good game though very nice push in the middle by botchers to kind of give us that plus one lead over the enemy so there you have it folks i hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more